we are one church, one family, and we value joy. Psalms chapter 16 verse 11 says, You have made known to me the path of life, and in your presence there is fullness of joy. The only way you can experience the fullness of joy is if you make a conscious decision to come into the presence of God each and every day of your life. There is no formula, and God did not make it hard for us to experience this joy, the unspeakable joy full of glory that Peter is talking about. It comes when we commune with God and seek His presence. You see, the enemy is always trying hard to take our joy away. But the fullness of joy means that you can be facing any situation and any circumstance, but that situation will not dictate how you feel and how you will react. Even Jesus told his disciple in John 15, 11, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. And that is even knowing that shortly thereafter he was going to face his persecutors. You and I can count it all joy when we fall through various trials. When we are facing challenges and adversity, things that we don't want to go through in life. But James says, you count it all joy. And why? Because you know that God is with you. And when you're down, depressed, and discouraged, God is there for you. Even as you hear God's words today, there is a spirit of joy that is going to be released in your life. Jesus is the center of that joy. And lastly, I'll leave you with this. Romans 15, 13, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. God bless you. Your mercy is upon us forever like waves upon a shore.